Capricorn. Da, da, da. Capricorn. Da, 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 da. Okay. Hey, it's time for your mid-November to December read of this current year, Capricorns. Yay. Capricorns, this is for a sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose. Away you go. Just make sure to check your charts because, you know, I have no idea. Cross watchers also switch where you need to. And if you don't like curse words, well, you might get offended and that'll hurt you more than it will me. Uh, newcomers, if you want a personal read, check the description box below. First readings on the house. Everything comes with the price and I do take tips and donations. You cute little nose. All right, Caps, what's coming up for us, right? We got some unfairness in this situation. Someone's holding back, and you feel like you need to fill a void somewhere, or they need to fill a void, or they need to get creative. Let's get creative. Could be with a Libra. Could be with you. Uh, wants and wishes. Strength. Trying to hold on, but you're pretty sure that that fish might try to fuck you with its tail wrapped around your feet, so you got to be careful, right? The obstacle and challenge down below is not feeling like yourself, Capricorns. Or feeling like you're disenfranchised when it comes to your identity, right? Uh, fears and rejections. Like someone like being a little bit abusive to you, hurting your feelings just because a few cups got knocked over. Uh, not even caring that there are two cups right here. They just care that whatever got spilled. And I think that's a fear for you. It's like you don't want to go through something again with another person. I think you're afraid of getting hurt. Uh, and how this shit starts, how it'll end, how it'll become, come full circle, this cycle. Nine of swords. You are a, an, ex, an anxious fucking mess, Capricorn. Either that or your person is. One of the two. You're waiting for a message that probably will never come. Or it feels like it'll never come, right? Huh, that's my luck. Uh, figures. Anyway! Let's go over the cart. Okay. So, Capricorn. What we doing? What's this, this six of pentacles, right? You want to, they're like, there's a, someone's being unfair, but they want to desire to resurrect something, which is just like, okay, boomer, whatever. Um, and this is not manifesting the way they thought it would, even though it's worked back in the day for them. Capricorns, what is this? I don't know. Something seems off in this. I don't know if it's you or a person you're dealing with, but something definitely feels off. I don't know what it is. It's getting on my nerves. Let's see. Seven of Cups. You're trying to fill a void or find ways to entertain yourself. You know, um, you're kind of in the dark sleeping on your fucking horse instead of delivering something that's going to make you feel whole again. And you feel like you might have wasted your time with that effort, too. Like, the Seven and the Knight of Pentacles would make the Eight of Pentacles right here, which is like investment, working on something, you know? Strength card, Capricorns. Could be Leo. Someone trying to hold up shit. Um... Uh, like have mastery over that beast but it's like something's ending between two people like someone's trying to have strength to deal with that because whatever is being resurrected hmm Capricorn I don't know if this is you especially with the strength card right here because it's like yeah, like, if you're dealing with a Leo, you might see that, like, you guys aren't meshing and you don't want to resurrect this shit again. Or just Leo seeing this about you. It's like y'all are zombies to each other or some shit. You know? And now everyone's confused. Just look at it. It's like shaking and shit. You know? Just cutting birds down and realize, oh, this was a good wreath. Okay. Your obstacle and challenge, though, Capricorns. You can't get over what's been knocked over. Or your person can't. It's like too much for him. But it feels like abuse up here. Aw, Capricorns. Do you feel like your wishes won't come true? Because this is a wish card with this Nine of Cups right here. It is the wish card. With the Nine of Pentacles over here. Dude, that's sad as fuck. Like, aw. Poor Capricorns. Nobody understands your feelings, and then you feel all alone. But that's how it goes. 
drop one more. Yeah, it's like you realize you're keeping yourself trapped in this kind of scenario, too. You might be reliving some shit that's freaking you the fuck out, honestly. Like, I don't know. Uh, if people are too nice to me, that freaks me out because it's just like, what do you want from me? You know, because I've always had people in my life who just kind of like, you know, were nice to me just to use me for whatever it is they were trying to get. And then like every time I would get fucked over or burned or some shit, right? And it's like it created this whole like uh, fear, this hypervigilance that it's going to happen again for me. And, you know, I'm still... Um, dealing with that because it, 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 I don't know like it's like I put my heart into people way too much and way too quickly because you know Capricorns we have way too many fucking emotions to deal with and none of them are fucking stable and they're ridiculous right but it's like you're terrified of your emotions and how you're going to react to things and I feel like you want to hold that back even though you're sad about what you want to invest in it's like you want to do something but it's like you're afraid to. And mind you, these are the only... I think those... Yeah, those are like... These cups, that cup... Like, there's not very many cups here. It's like you're... Sh sh if I could talk today. It's like you're hiding your emotions from your fucking self and you can't get over it. Too many Jake people in this fucked up world. Your fears and rejections with this Five of Cups reverse. You're afraid of abuse really what that feels like is abuse um and, and like it'll happen while you're not even paying attention you know just come out of nowhere um, and you feel like you might have to separate yourself on a, a very practical level um distracting yourself emotionally yes but it's going to be on a practical scale it's almost like you know like this disaster happened but i need to not let my feelings get in the way and i need to fix this shit before it gets out of hand there's already a fire in the goddamn woods how am i supposed to deal with it or at this point you're just like you know what just let it fucking burn why the fuck should i care i've been in here this entire time like the world is burning but you're just like yeah whatever you just want it all to end, and it doesn't seem like it's ending the way you want it to. Or you feel like it's overburdened and it's at a standstill. How the shit starts, how it'll end, what'll bring the full circle to the cycle. Nine of swords, a lot of anxiety. Feeling like you're going to keep reliving shit that happened to you before. Uh, and trying to get away from that shit on a desperate ass level. It's just like, I'm going to do anything sneaky I can to get the fuck away from these people. Right? Right. You just want to feel emotionally fulfilled, Capricorn. But it's like something isn't happening for you, and it's leaving you feeling stagnant. It's leaving you feeling like, ah, you know, yeah, like just frustrated. You just want to scream in your fucking room because no one can hear you there, and you don't look as much as a window. Wait, a weirdo. I almost said window. <laughs> like... Capricorns, we freak out by ourselves. We don't do that whole, like, I need a hug shit. And if we do, it's usually with a person we care a fuck lot about, and they don't feel the same about us. And that's scary, you know? Choosing to open up to somebody again. Because I really feel like that's what it is. We got a king of cups here who's pouring his cup out. Possibly exposing his emotions or whatever. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio... Because uh, he wants to take a break from this shit. Maybe, I don't know. You might be expressing that your emotions and you just, you can't do it. It's like it's too much. You know? Down below in the situation. Oh, uh, yeah, you could possibly be bitter. That's fair. That's fair. But you gotta let that shit go. You can't be mad all the fucking time. Yeah, well, I mean, you could, but, like, no one's gonna want to... Well, it, it, well, even if people didn't hang out with us, we'd be cool with that. Because then it's like, oh, okay. I don't have to entertain anybody. I'll just get, go on and get... But, you know, no, you can't do that, Capricorn. You gotta be part of fucking society, whether, whether or not you live on a mountain or not. They're gonna find you regardless. That's the most annoying part. So you gotta let the shit go. You can't keep holding back your emotions, no matter how scary it is, no matter how strong and intense they are. You have every opportunity to release your emotions and just feel. And I'm saying that as an Aquarius moon. Who, and Aquarius are not good with their emotions at all. In fact, like emotions freak me out a lot because it, it's a scary thing for me. I'm absolutely terrified of emotions. Because then you got to feel shit. And it's like, ew, 
Like, that's disgusting. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> so I got a bet. Ooh, one snuck in here. You're in the dark about some love. You don't know if it's there or not. The fuck is that about? Wants and wishes, caps. Oh, that's probably what it is. Are you waiting to see if someone loves you? Because, you know, you might have to tell them. Or maybe they're just fucking with you. I don't know. You feel like they left you and slammed the door in your face. And it's just like, oh, well, that figures, you know. But that might send you into a fucking, like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't, I don't give a shit anymore. Who gives a fuck? Like, you know, love is fucking stupid. I don't want to deal with it. I'll just crack anybody's head who wants to be my fuck friend. Fuck y'all. You know, you might go on a, a, a bit of a homicidal, like, rampage, Capricorns. Be very careful. Like, because you might end up, like, doing what I did the other day and just hurting my own feelings by accident. Well, not by accident. I interpreted something wrong, and that was my fault. You know. Hmm. Like, you feel like there's nothing to fight for, so you just want to walk away. You feel like someone slammed the door in your face. And didn't want you. But they are standing there watching you. I don't think that it's not that they don't want to deal with you, but I think it's like... When you get in that state where you're just like, I'm not dealing with this. This is getting on my nerves and it's making me feel a certain way. You just need to walk away. And it's just like, this person doesn't get that. I don't think they see that about you. But it's an impulsive action. It's something that you do as a defense mechanism, I guess. Or some shit. Or I don't know. Maybe you're being a dick in this situation. I don't know. Either or. Or they could be doing this to you, Capricorn. You know. The obstacles and challenge right here. You know, you would serve this person to the point of, um... Being their slave, if it meant you got something back in return and rewarded. That's mad duration. The Capricorns, I think you're interested in somebody. But let me tell you, if they're not chasing you back, they're probably not interested in you. You know? And I think that's what's bothering you the most. I think it's giving you the whole, like, uh, I'm not good enough complex a little bit. And that's what pisses you off enough to walk away. It's just like, you know, if you don't think I'm good enough for you, I'll just leave and whatever. I'll just be by myself. I'm good by myself anyway. Fuck these emotions. Uh, I'll just go eat a toaster strudel and be happy again. You know? Hmm. Let me drop one more on that, because I want to see... Ah! This person's got good intentions, but it's like they're waving their face in your face, and you're just like, I just want to, like, grab your hair, and, and you, you know, like, it's just like that intensity. It's just like, yes. It's like, you can't catch a break, and this person's trying to help you out with it, mentally, but it's like they don't understand that it's like, I don't know if it's helping you out, or if it's hindering you from getting a break, but you feel like you need a break. But they might offer you something in order to take you out of your break, too. But I don't think they mean to do so maliciously. Fears and rejections, Caps. You are absolutely fucking terrified to make a first move, pussies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's either you or the person you're dealing with. Honestly, I think both of y'all are pussies, but it's whatever. Because I think this person's afraid to say anything... Or whatever. It's like, they want to chase after you, but they're not sure what the fuck they did. In Capricorn, we're not really good at, like, you know, telling people what the fuck they did. We're just really good at, like, being like, bye, Felicia, whatever. You know, we kind of end up doing that sometimes without really thinking. Unless it's someone who really did some fucked up shit. And then it's just like, I don't even think about this shit. Fuck off, man. You're an asshole. Yeah, you're totally freaked out to communicate. Capricorn. You know, you've been dealing with crazy people for a while, from what I've read, for certain ones of you. Not all of you, of course, because, like, this is only for those who this vibes with or whatever. But it's like, you are so fucking in your feels about getting hurt again that it's causing you to fucking hesitate. Like, you know, got confidence like a motherfucker, but... You're a scaredy cat, so, you know, I don't know, man. I'll lay one more. Yeah, and this makes you feel like, oh, man, like, I'm just not, I'm, I'm nowhere near. Like, Capricorns, you're as powerful as you want to believe you are. 
Um, but we're also our worst critics, so I think you might be doing that to yourself. Like, you're all pissed off because you can't communicate your feelings as well as you want to. It's making you feel less than. You want to, but I think you're scared of how this person's going to react to you. You know, you feel like there's not going to be a victory between you and this person. And they're going to leave you to drown in your emotions. Like, look at this. Like, they, they're grieving for hurting you. But they're not helping you. What happened one more? Yeah, so you end up by yourself and your Buffalo Bill being like, Bill, you're the only person who understands me. And I guess I should, like, you know, just keep rubbing this pentacle on your head because you're the only one who... Yeah. Capricorns, this is kind of sad. I don't know if you'll open up your emotions. I don't know if you'll talk to somebody, but I feel like in order to get yourself put back in place, you're going to have to deliver this message. But if you're waiting for someone else to deliver your message or deliver a message to you... Um, you might be setting yourself up to get disappointed and your feelings hurt. So be very careful. Like, you know, um, fuck romance. Take care of yourself because if someone really wants you, they'll come up to you. You know, a Capricorn, they want to know that they're like fucking worth something to you. You know, for anybody who's cross watching and wants to understand a little bit about Capricorn, you know, like we want to be appreciated by people. We just don't say it because, you know, we're emotionless dicks who hide our emotions right but it's just like you know this right here capricorn this is like you're causing your own kind of suffering i'm sorry to say i don't know but that's the reading i got for y'all so if you enjoyed this which i hope you didn't because this is kind of sad uh please like share and subscribe you know greatly appreciate it Capricorns, I feel like you're really scared of being with someone new. And you're recognizing how it's affecting you. And it's just like, maybe it is better I just walk away from this because I feel like I can't be normal with this person. They just set off my emotions and then I, I'm just a dick. I'm just a straight dick, you know? That's all I got. So, I will see you later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.